Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give? Four police officers who fought tooth and nail to defend the U.S. Capitol and suffered broken bones and racist taunts from Donald Trump's supporters on January 6th testified on Tuesday before a congressional committee probing the attack. Sergeant Acalino Ganell of the U.S. Capitol Police vividly recalled battling the rioters. We fought hand to hand, inch by inch, to prevent an invasion of the Capitol by a violent mob intent on subverting our democ democratic process. You're going to die for that. Michael Fanone with DC's Metropolitan Police said he was assaulted and beaten unconscious by Trump supporters who stormed the Capitol. I was grabbed, beaten, tased, all while being called a traitor to my country. Multiple capital injury, multiple capital injury. The congressional panel of seven Democrats and two Republicans played harrowing video from the officers' body-worn cameras, underscoring their testimonies. The mob besieged the Capitol after outgoing President Donald Trump gave an incendiary speech falsely claiming his 2020 election loss was the result of fraud. The rioters were intent on stopping lawmakers from certifying the election results. And some wearing MAGA hats and shirts that said Trump 2020. I told them to just leave the Capitol, and in response they yelled, no man, this is our house. President Trump invited us here. Their prejudices were plain to Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn. The following account contains racist and offensive language. One woman in a pink MAGA shirt yelled, you hear that guys? This nigger voted for Joe Biden. <laughs> then the crowd, perhaps around 20 people, joined in screaming, boo, fucking nigger. No one had ever, ever called me a nigger while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. The rioters battled their way inside and forced lawmakers and Vice President Mike Pence to flee. The witnesses on Tuesday said the stakes were clear. What were you fighting for that day? Democracy. Only two Republican lawmakers, Liz Cheney of Wyoming and Adam Kinzinger of Illinois, joined the panel over the objections of their party leaders. GOP leaders rejected a proposed bipartisan outside commission and last week pulled their support for this special select committee. Many Republicans have tried to distance the attack from the rhetoric and encouragement of Trump and others in the party who repeated false claims about the election. Some Republicans have tried to downplay or deny the violence of January 6th. Officer Fanon had this to say to them. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful, but nothing, truly nothing, has prepared me to address those elected members of our government who continue to deny the events of that day, and in doing so, betray their oath of office. Trump recently praised some of the rioters, calling them a, quote, loving crowd who were, quote, hugging and kissing police. Sergeant Gunnell, who suffered broken bones and clashes with rioters, had a response to that. I'm still recovering from those hugs and kisses.